obviously we're gonna tell these in place and shit. So I got the program working, however, um, this hose import was leaking a little bit. I'm definitely overdoing it. Okay. So here's our wrapped hose end. I really don't even think this is going to screw on there to be honest with you, but let's just, let's see. Just really getting as much turn as you can on to prevent any air from coming out. On. I think that's it, man. I don't think that's. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't coming off, man. Alright, we got another problem. So basically, he was mid-show and I heard a metal cling. So I immediately stopped and uh, assumed a bolt came loose. And I was actually correct because if I look in here, see that? There is a washer sitting on his body frame, which confirmed my theory. So I then quickly went inside of his head, searched for the issue, and I actually found it. As you can see, I don't know if you can actually see from right here. Uh, there is the bolt that holds that cylinder in right there. You see, there's one missing. I got one on that side, that one fell out. And in fact, this screw was uh let's see if I can get it back in. yeah this screw was um practically dangling out i mean it was about to fall and if this thing fell it would have completely ripped his face clean off so i'm really glad i actually looked at that before i continued on working with him so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for that bolt and if we can't find that bolt, we gotta go get a new one. We removed the screw off of that because I looked all over the floor. I couldn't find the one that fell off. So I don't have any extras. That's all I got it right here. I'm gonna go to Home Depot and hopefully find this exact same screw. So replace the bolt. It was really hard to get good turns in at this angle, so what I decided to do was do the best to my ability with my fingers and then just apply some super glue, which should work theoretically, but uh, I'm gonna have to like test it out again and make sure it's stable. Now there's only one concern I have with him right now, and this is definitely something that's gonna come into play in the future. It was totally my fault. Um, basically when I first got the head, like probably two months ago I basically assembled the eyelid cylinder 
incorrectly, but it actually screws in right there with two Allen keys. And that bolt, there's two Allen bolts right there, they're not completely in because I put them in on the opposite side when I originally assembled it, and then I had to remove them. And I was wondering why they weren't going in when I first assembled it, so I super glued it. And then I realized I had it in the wrong direction. So I immediately ripped it out, put it in the right way, and it just, it just was not, was not going in. So they're, they're like dangling out right now, but they are stuck in there. I mean, they are stuck, stuck. Like I, I couldn't even get them in any further and I could barely get them out. So as far as I know, they're good. Now I'm not, the only reason why I don't really need to fix it as we speak is because if the mouth cylinder ripped off, like I stated previously, it would completely rip his entire face off because the cylinder would fall into his body frame, causing this to go all the way up. So it would completely dismantle his like nose or whatever. But the eyelid cylinder, if, it, if this thing were to fall, it would just catch on this part of his head. So it wouldn't actually knock his face forward at all. And the eyes are actually on a rotating screw or a bolt so uh, it wouldn't rip off the eyelids, it wouldn't rip off anything, it would simply just fall down and catch right here. So it would be loud, it would be scary, but it would not or should not um, rip his face off.